Hello, my name is Kwasplum, and welcome to the Big Menu, any present edition. So, the Big Menu is the really obscenely long menuing sequence in Dark Cloud 2's any percent and any percent no debug categories, although the two menus in each are very different, and the any percent no debug version currently still needs to uh, be rerouted due to some extra stuff I found. Anyways, uh, for this category, you will uh, first off, the money, the money requirements are extremely low, so you can actually get by without ever picking up a single chest. In fact, I actually uh, found out that apparently you have way more money than you need just by having all this stuff uh, that you get directly from the story. So, starting off, uh, I want to explain that the absolute earliest point you can do this menu is in Chapter 2, uh, once you've gone to this floor, Legendary Killer Snake, and grab the Geostone. As far as I'm aware of, there is no possible way to do the menu before this point. Uh, but for the 80% no Tiba category, you, you only need to grab this one Geostone. You do not grab any of the other three because we will not be progressing past e this floor. You're not even going to be finishing this floor when you get here. So once you've gotten to this point, you're going to leave Sunday and go Look into the Georama menu to download the Geostone, and then you'll get the condition for unlocking, um, for recruiting Gordon. And then once you get that, you want to come over here to do some little shopping. Now, for the shopping spree here, you only need 960 Giola total for all the stuff you need for the run. Uh, assuming you have not used a single bread, but yeah, we have plenty of money from just the stuff we get naturally from the story, so here he's gonna sell. Antidote drinks, tasty water, pear powders, these sell for a lot. Might you might you want like skip some of the other items. Sell so these crystals here. For crystals, you only want uh you want to make sure you have one of these two left. The sea wind uh wind crystal or sea dragon crystal. You can also leave the hunter or destruction, but uh probably better just to like leave uh just sell like the, two of the other ones. Since they're in stacks of two. All but one bait. And then, yeah, where you have plenty of money, that's all you really need. You don't even need to sell the tasty water and the and the antidote drinks, really. Like, just, uh, this menu here is very loose. Now, if you have been making any mistakes, of course, just, or you want to, like, just play around with other stuff, the other things you can sell, if you want to find, like, potentially faster menuing, is you can sell up to 14 of these rolling locks. Technically, you can sell up to 15, but I prefer uh, doing a slightly different setup for the menu to make it... Uh, just a little more convenient for me. You can sell this glass material, this sugar cane, which is kind of a waste. You can sell seven water elements to not waste time. If you sell more than seven, you'll have to uh, go. You'll have to do a little extra menuing, which to waste time, quite a significant amount of time too. And then you can sell this fire element, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you cannot sell this cannonball arm, and you will be getting the green overalls later. You won't have this yet. But yeah, that's basically all you have at this point to end. 960 guild is all you need. I already I started from zero and I already have way more than I not way more, but like a little more than I need. Okay, once you've gotten this point, you just want to buy 19, 19 more scouts of metal for the full 20, three hunks of copper, and two thick highs. These are for first off Adele. You will be uh, get, doing her quest, so she wants one sturdy cloth, which you get from Conda, one thick hide, and two hunks of co uh, one hunk of copper. You'll be creating the uh, right pots energy pack, so 20, 2, and 1. And that's all you need here. Then if you have not bought, uh, if you did not find a single holy water, you'll be need you'll need to go to the church to buy that for 40 Gilda. And then you'll recruit Gordon first, and then Adele, who is uh, on the second floor in the back. As you recruit Adele, she'll be giving you this outfit. And also, another thing I should mention it for outfits. Uh, when you start off the game, make sure that Max is wearing your leather shoes. That is the only requirements. Anything else is just whatever. You can start off with anything you want. Um, but yeah, once you've gotten the green overalls, this is where the menu can finally start. So you want to come here to Poly Shop, and this is where you start to do the actual menu. Now this starts uh, oh right, if you have not watched the tutorial on the Equip Anything glitch, I highly, highly recommend you do that first because I explain how like all the uh, all the glitchy stuff works in that video. I'm not going to like go too in-depth here, you, you can kind of watch my inputs on the screen if you uh, are confused at what's going on, but uh, I'm not going to explain too, heavy, uh, too heavily on like what's going on with the menus since I've already done that there. 
Yeah, first off, we're going to come here and spectrumize 12 rolling logs. You can actually do 11 rolling logs, so the 12 here means that you get this trumpet gun. The bare minimum is 11 for the classic gun, but personally, I just like uh, having d two guns be different so that I can easily tell at a glance whether I have the right gun equipped or not. If you really don't carry the way Jin's D11, it's faster than Wing. Now, put this on the second slot of the 10th row if you did it legitimately, which I mean if you are doing the run you will have done it legitimately. I did not so I'm putting it up here. Now come to poly shop and buy, well first off grab all the one bread, grab uh, swap it with any other item, press O while you're holding left and now just buy all the bread you can. Come to the make menu and you're going to take uh, any stack of items so pro uh, you're yeah, probably just the water elements. That's that's one of the items that you'll have multiple of. Swap swap and then you'll have glitched up the bread. You do not touch that, by the way. I'm now come in here, pick up this bread, stop with the green overalls, press O, come over here to the right pod, X. Then find a useless item, so uh... Yeah, any key items really, so you'll have the help receiver, swap with that. To get a trumpet gun. Or if you did a different number, like as long as it's one of these ID numbers for the smash value, it's fine. So anything from 11 to 20 um, uh, rolling log spectrumize is fine. But I'll pull out uh, whatever gun you decide to go with here. And now I like to rearrange the inventory a little bit, right? Also, um, while you're in the make menu, I forgot to mention this, but it's faster just to come in here and invent the energy pack right here and then do the stuff with the bread. I did not get here legitimately, so I don't even have the invention uh, done, so I'm just going to delete the items. Okay, I won't be having these in my inventory. And instead I'll have this energy pack. So I always like to rearrange these three items like this and this one's better with the bread in the center but the reason why is because if you hover over here to max and come over here I'm bound on bread if I come here over to max back oh I'm on a bread again see over here hover hey look I'm on a bread again just putting the bread in the center row here makes it so that you always come back here you'll, you'll be doing this swap swap this this and then of course the glitchy stuff like that all right so Uh, after you've gotten this gun, next up is to create the uh, glitch to glitch in a stinger wrench. So come back, move this over. Now, oh yeah, something you mentioned is doesn't really matter too much in this category because um, uh, because you don't really have a whole lot of stuff. But you want to be careful not to put anything important on this slot here because you'll be deleting it whenever you do this glitching stuff because you're using a slot in the middle here. So yeah, be very careful about that. But just the, you're gonna have very few items, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, I like just, this is just basically a trash can for me. I just, whenever I had to glitch, mass glitch and stuff, I just put the next one here and then grab the item and put it here. So yeah, here, this is a stinger wrench. We're doing it the same way with this item here. Just go and put a useless item, so the bread here. You just start getting rid of the breads one by one, like all the single breads. Those are pretty much all useless. And now you want to fix this stinger wrench because this is a type 0 stinger wrench. We want it to be a normal legitimate stinger wrench just uh, for convenience because uh, if it's a, we're going to be using this to glitch in a bunch of stuff. If you've seen the video already, uh, this is the setup for making a type uh, or a special uh, a special type uh, crystal with weird stats. And duplicating it as well. So first off, you want to glitch on a weapon to this, a normal weapon. So, um, right, you may notice that I need to use a normal Type Three weapon, and I don't really have another Type Three weapon in here. I have this Type Zero gun. I can't really like use the gun, or else I am locked out of the glitch. So instead, we'll be using this fishing rod. If you happen to have like another weapon since uh, from like picking up a bunch of chests, you can use that to save time. But yeah, for now, I I don't believe it's. I mean, you, if you can manage to find um, find a weapon 
in a chest within like five tries that will s save time probably. It's not like a guarantee either. Alright, so we're gonna be glitching this battle wrench that you had equipped on Max onto this one. The stinger wrench that we just fixed. So we'll come here using Max's slots to so use this and then glitch on the battle wrench. Now you have this really weird battle wrench. You're going to be you're going to take this sea dragon crystal or this or whatever crystal you have here, put it down there and swap it up here. We're going to now glitch this special stinger wrench onto the sea dragon crystals, and that's going to give us sixteen thousand nine hundred twelve uh, sea dragon crystals that have weird stats to them. Three cyclone, four smash, one exorcism. Now pick this up, put it back down, and then grab all but one and come back up here. We're now going to start some uh, mass item creation. Alright, we're going to be making a handful of items. Um, first off, well, the reason why I had to pick up all but one is because we're going to create a stinger wrench with the one uh, with the one thing we have down there. So we're going to be essentially getting back the old stinger wrench but with the stats uh, changed. Next, we're going to be making a grade zero, so five crystals for an ID of 20. Come back, and now we're going to be making a Gladius for 11 crystals. Next are outfits for Max and Monica. So you need to have one of each piece of equipment. Uh, the goal of this menu here is that we need to reach a point where we unequip all of Max and Monica's outfit slots and their right hand weapons. You could keep their gun, the gun and the armband on, but everything else needs to be unequipped. And then uh, also you need a type 3, it doesn't really need to be type 3 specifically, but of course the values need to be changed. So essentially a type 3 weapon that has 28,593 chill I believe, 55 of lightning, and uh, some amount of cyclone is not zero. I'm not sure what's like, uh, what like the range is, but I know that 2 and 3 both work and well, the fastest setup I know of uses 3, so. Yeah, so next up we have Max's hat for 28 crystals. Uh, Max's shoes for 30. Uh, Monica's hairband for 31 crystals. Monica's shoes for 33 crystals. Monica's clothes for 66 crystals. And then one name change ticket for 96 crystals. You only need one name change ticket in this one. But if you make any mistakes, of course, you could just pull out the same exact way. Just come over here 96 and then make another crystal. It's very quick and easy. Much nicer than the old setup. Oh, right, yeah. So yeah, once you've made all these spheres, it's now time to just come in here and glitch them all up. Glitch in some items, so... Just throw in a bread every time, now it's first time we get a stinger wrench. Nice. So, uh, once you put that down, just... Well, we just grab like this. Shove this item over every time. So we're just get, getting rid of it. Dragon shoes. You're gonna keep doing this over and over for every single one of these sun spheres, so that you essentially end, uh, you end up with all the items that we need. Okay, and that's all the items. All right, so now this is why I wanted I wanted to have a special sense here with uh, that's not a type zero because I can still equip this just fine as strangely as it is. It's a little glitchy in some ways. Like I can't actually use a name change to get on, um, say this Gladius that's type like <laughs> I don't even know what type number it is anymore. I think it's like type thirty three. Yeah, I can't use the name change again on it for some uh, because it's not a type 3 or type 5 anymore. However, I can still equip it just fine, as strange as it is. Right, so once you're done with this, uh, next step is to equip a sword onto Monica. So this is why I had to make the Gladius. 
gonna come here, swap swap, and then once you have this, go over to Monica, grab the bread, go over to Monica, grab the Gladius, circle X on her, and then equip the bread on. So now you can actually use the bread to equip some other stuff. Let's put this here and equip uh, the striped dress onto Monica. And you, uh, since you're here anyways, might as well just go and equip the other stuff as well. You need to have the shoes and you ha have the ribbon on here. You don't really need to do anything just yet with these, but uh, the next step is to get... Oh right, yeah. Next step is to get this special wrench onto Monica's slot. And then we're going to special minus one crystal and put this uh, on glitches onto Monica's glitch slot. So Monica's glitch slot, remember, this is the one with the energy pack and not Max's outfit. So re equip this, swap, swap, grab the energy pack, circle, X, and then put the sea dragon crystal onto Monica's slot. When you do this, it's gonna glitch a little bit, just touch like bread or something. And then they'll be back to normal. I'm assuming it has something to do with the. Well, all of these like really weird type items. So just pick up like a stacked item like the bread engines equipped to get it back to normal. Now change the name for this. This is very specific. You need to name this exactly. It's not really exactly perfectly, but yeah, to make sure seven O's and a seven at the end. The important numbers are the oh the two O's before this and a seven. I believe the other numbers the other letters are all fine. Like as anything else, but just seven O's and a seven for the fastest oh way to get up to uh, for fastest menuing here. Re equip that back on Team Monica. I'm not gonna pull that back out. With just the bread. And now we have a Sin Sphere with 28,527 chill, 55 lightning, and 3 cyclone. Now I said earlier it needs to be 28,593 um, uh, 93 chill. So this is still a little off. We'll be making this up with some other items. But for now, it's time to move on to the next step, which is to first off fix, uh, re-equip this on Monica, and then equip this on to Max, so that oh, actually no, don't equip it on, on to Max. Get the bait and fix this grade zero. So equip it onto the fishing rod as bait. Re-equip this, and now you can unequip. Now with this new fixed grade zero, we are now going to uh, take this and. I spectrumize a holy crystal onto this. So for the holy crystal, you need to get this, make another sin sphere, put it onto this slot again, and we're going to be glitching on Monica's long sword on. Monica's long sword is a type, or Monica's long swords, uh, long swords have a innate property value of three, and the property value corresponds to the. Um, which one calls it the uh, the exorcism value and the crystal? So we're gonna be using that to make a type three later on. Hold on, where did Max's outfit go? Anyway, where did his outfit go? Hold on, I must be blind. Yeah, I have no idea what I did with his outfit, but uh, that's you should not be losing <laughs> his outfit, or else that is actually uh, um. Well, not really unrecoverable, but you'll need to figure out how to like pull this back out. Actually, no, that's unrecoverable. You can't even do that normally. Now, wait, what happened to that? I don't know. Okay, I have no idea what, how it happened, but whatever. Uh, point is, you do not want to lose the uh, the the outfit you had. Anyways, back to this. You want glitches on, you'll be getting another one of these, which you don't really need. And now, uh, this Sin Sphere is now, and uh, now has three Holy on it, which is what we want, the exorcism, I mean. Grab this and put this onto the grade zero. Now we're going to use Monica slot to pull out the item, so come here, equip. Again, this is the one with, whoops, this one with the energy pack, so let's pull out with anything, and 
we now need to get some synthesis points on here, so just put it back onto where it was and uh, the method to get synthesis points that I, I use for this is now to get the cannonball arm onto the weapon with back to slot. There we go. So the 95 attack, uh, the cannonball arm's 95 attack is now, or the 60 attack is now the synthesis points for this. And 60 points is all we really need. This one's only one point, so just put it on for the obscenely high stats. Next, also come into Polly's menu here, and now we're gonna sell just, just a few of these, doesn't matter. And buy 13 tasty waters. You only need a thousand forty gilas. Oh, very little, so just 20 of these is fine. Now spectrumize uh, all 20 of these water elements. If you do not have, uh, if you have less than 20, like you can sell up to seven without wasting time. There's a cap of 20 tasty water, which is why I said you can only sell seven water elements for this. Just put this onto here. Spectrumize the tasty water as well. And just get that on. And now this is it, 28,593 chill, and now the other two stats, 55 lightning, 3 cyclone. Now you're ready for this next part, which is unequipping all of Max and Monica's outfits. So for this stuff, so where did my stuff go? Okay, well, the wrench, all right, the wrench is, well, it's fine either way, the wrench, I can use this. Now, the way you want to do this is to, uh, first off, Monica, if you did what I did here and already have this equipped, just... Move all this stuff over. You don't want this in a way. Also, you want to have uh, move the single bread up here. And now you want to just equip, equip, equip. You can also just move this over and just discard, discard. And now discard as well. And now you just need to put her Gladius. Equip her Gladius and then equip as well to get rid of the bread. The armband's fine, you don't need to worry about this one, it's not gonna do anything, but the rest of our outfits and the weapon is gonna glitch up the game. It's gonna crash the game if you try to do this the next part. And next up, you want to do the same thing with, uh, well, not the same thing, but... Here, swap, swap, and now just equip the bread onto, Mon uh, onto Max's gun slot, and now... You're using this slot here to equip his overalls, his shoes... And where is his other thing? His hat. Here it is. That is again just equip bread on, equip, equip. You can delete all of these now. And then you want to uh, get his rent grade zero. Anything's fine really, just grade zero. Uh oh right. Now, of course, discard that so you actually have space and then equip. Not just equip that to get rid of uh, your weapon here. Alright, now you're ready for the final step. So, the last step is to open and close the menu. Last steps are to open and close the menu 979, 797 times first. <laughs> that is not a joke. You actually have to open and close this menu 797 times. First, I'll exit out all the way. And now come here. One, two, three, four. You're actually doing this for 797 whole times. If you don't believe me, I have a VOD of this run and I do open and close the menu 797 times. But yeah, first of all, let me just show you. There's actually a setup here. So, uh, well, something I should explain first. While Max, uh, Max does not have any gear equipped, yet, by the way, you gotta make sure you are playing as Max. You cannot play as Monica for this section. But for this section here, you, uh, because you don't have anything equipped on Max at all, no shoes, no outfit, no hats, you first off these glitch triangles, and second off, you can open and close this menu very quickly. You can see here, this is not just because I'm on emulator. If you look at my own, uh, run, there, it is actually this fast. So you can do this probably very quickly. Like I 
It only takes me like three to four minutes to do the 797 in one try. Yeah, if you need help counting, by the way, um, personally, I just like to use my splits for every 100. So I have I split at 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. Then at 700, it's uh, I just start counting slower. So the way you want to go is that you want to get up to 700. You want to count up somewhere between 750 to 791. Do not go past 791 though. Uh, there is a visual cue for this, but uh, of course you can't really go past 791 for that. Though if you're very, if you're extremely confident uh, in your menuing here and you think you can get to 797 perfectly, then by all means go ahead. Uh, I don't trust myself with that. I think it's un kind of unrealistic as well. Plus, uh, yeah, kind of unrealistic to do that. So, yeah, I'll just stick to doing 797 times. So it's somewhere between 750 to 790 times. Let me first use Cheat Engine to uh, get the nut value up. So there. The reason why you're opening and closing this menu 797 times is that every time you open and close this menu, it actually shifts uh, shifts like an offset somewhere. I'm not really sure like the exact explanation. I believe what happens is that it shifts over like uh, the location of the inventory in the memory by 128 bytes. So you can do this over and over for 797 times. And then uh, while you have your leather shoes equipped on the 797th open, it's going to change your cursor position in the make menu. Yeah, but when you do this menu, you have to do this over and over, and you cannot close out. If you do this, you need to start counting, you start to sound over again, so 797 over 1, 2, 3, oh no, I closed the menu. Well, Pandasaur over 1, 2, and so on. So you gotta be very careful not to close the menu. It better, it's better to go slower and get all the uh, all the menu opens and closes in than to go fast and then accidentally close out. I'll second off, once you... Uh, there is a lot of leeway for this and there's a visual cue as I mentioned. Oh shoot, did I delete the leather shoes? Oh my god, I just did that, didn't I? <laughs> okay, well, first off, do not delete the leather shoes. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, once you unequip the leather shoes, keep that is the one item you absolutely cannot delete. Right, you need to equip this on the max later. But yeah, for anyways, for the visual cue, I'll just go ahead and change this value here in uh, Cheat Engine. So um, this needs to be. One one five two seven six. Okay, there. So I've opened the menu somewhere around seven hundred seventy-ish times now. <laughs> Pretend I've opened it at seven hundred seventy-ish times, and now, at this point, I'm going to equip the leather shoes. Remember, you could go anywhere from seven hundred fifty to like seven hundred ninety-one, but don't do it too early. I've tested it out, and at the very least, if you try to go at seven uh, six hundred ninety-seven, so a hundred earlier. Uh, then you're supposed to. You do crash the game at some point. I haven't like tested out exactly what is the earliest point, but 750 is like a safe spot. It's already like a gap of 50 in it uh, over the course of counting to uh, 797. That's quite a big amount of leeway. At this point, you see that it's actually opening a little slower. So just keep going. Watch to your guild account because that's the visual cue. It's 585. Later, it's going to turn to zero. That's the first visual cue you want to look for, and then from there you want to keep going a little further. Okay, there. So if you uh, definitely want to, want to like play along and then like pause here, then waiting to get to 750-ish, and then once you are there, yeah, keep go uh, equip your leather shoes, and then just slowly open and close the menu. So ideally, you get as close to 791 as you can without going over. But at 791, this is where your guild turns to zero. So 92 is not a, an obscenely high number. Now it's just zero again, zero, zero for three more times, and then this is the 797th open. This is where you want to stop and go to the make menu. Now if you come here, uh, you've now shoved the cursor position of the make menu very far away. Scroll up to the top here. Now you need to scroll up 38 uh, spaces, 38 rows. And there is a visual cue here as well, so you can hold up a little bit and then just slow down a little bit once you've gone far enough. 
and okay, the screen disappeared. So this is actually one past where it's supposed to go. If you just count up 38, you'll be on the row before this glitches up. Now you can actually go down on this menu here uh, directly. I'm trying to click down, but it's not working. But you can do it from this side here. So come here, second row, and then here. That's all fine and dandy. So you can't actually go down, but you can go up. Now, you can only do this like uh, for this section here, but you're going to need to grab this item here. You press square to grab it, by the way. Up, right, 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 to this slot here. Swap it again with square. Press O to swap these two items. So now these two items have been swapped. You will have no visual cues whatsoever. It's just going to have... Uh, it's going to be no sound and you'll just swap the two items. Next up, go up 12 rows. It's another visual cue, so just go up 12. Whoops. Uh, yeah. You can just do the same thing. Now, this is the 12th row. You can see there's the split here, so it's very obvious where it is. Now, grab this item here on the second slot, again, so with square. Go over to this first slot, press square again, and now you can just leave. You have now changed the position of this cursor. So from here, you want to open and close this menu 244 times, and you will now have a slower open and close because Max has his shoes equipped. Unfortunately, this is unfortunately like just going to be this slow, so this 244 is uh, going to take quite a bit of time despite having less open and closes. Yeah, this one also has another visual cue, so once you've gone to like 240, you want to start slowing down. So again, this open and closes 244 times, and then I'm going to use Cheat Engine here to just change it again. So on like uh, 47308. So I'm now on open 242. I come here, there's a 243. You'll see here there's nothing on, this, uh, on the little box here. One more time, and now this is 244. There is a battle wrench here. If you pass this battle wrench, you have gone past and you start over. <laughs> so pick up this battle wrench, come down, go over to wherever your type 3 item is, swap these two and press O. Now you have swapped with position, so you were earlier you were in a very obscenely far position, like negative, like inventory slot negative 18,000 or something like that. So you've now just shoved in, you took this random item in, that was created from other values in the games data, and you've now replaced it with um, the item that you just created. And that lets you unlock debug mode, which I already had debug mode unlocked earlier, but uh, this changes the value, so now you should be able to open it with R3. Just click that and you'll be able to get here. Now, very important thing, you want to close out the menu completely from here. Come in here, R3 and triangle. That's going to reset you to like a kind of a game's default. So you'll be equipped with Battle Wrench, Classic Gun, Monica's here, this stuff, and they have to close back again. Now this is where you want to do select plus start, and you'll open this menu here in debug mode. Come to game start, use O by the way, this is a Japanese menu, so it's O to confirm and X to cancel instead. So scroll, uh, come down here where it says boss battle, but uh, you'll have to know how to read moon runes so you can, to actually do that. So down one, two, three, four, five, six, down six, or you can go up one, two, three, four, five, up five, down six or up five. Go all the way to the far right and go down here to the third to last one, which is Dark Element. Now, I just want to mention that the any person category, you, we could just skip all the way to the cutscene, but the category kind of requires us to kill Dark Element just so it's the same for across all any person categories. There's really no other reason why we do that. Now, here you're going to create a love, a very, uh, Max out love, so just come back into inventory. R3 is on the second page, and then just go do love. Uh, status maxes out here with just R3, a triangle, the maxes stats. Equ equip this, and now Monica will just kill Dark Element here. It takes, I was surprised how long this takes because. You would expect that with a maxed out um, armband, you would kill this much, much faster, but yeah. <laughs> also, you 
I'm not sure if that's actually, I believe, I'm not sure if that's like part of debug menu, like a uh, normal debug menu or not, I forget. I think it is, but yeah, that is actually all there is to it. It's now being Dark Cloud 2. So that's all there is to the big menu. You just come over here to Dark Element and then we just uh, kill him with Monica. This is definitely like a... A little bit of a weird category. I do like the fact that there's it is a much shorter category with just a menu and no just like additional bullshits at the end, just uh like with the no debug category. But yeah, I'll definitely get used to menuing all this stuff in. You can uh really like try to figure out how the equipment eating glitch works. Like don't uh, try to like figure out how it works and so that it's kind of something you can just naturally do. And then yeah, pretty much uh, just figure out like all the uh, how you're gonna like efficiently get to uh, get from the start to the point where you unequip all the uh, unequip all of Maximonica's outfits and have the uh, that special Type Three weapon.